this is Zaid Rules. Um, I you may have seen me in Lockdown FSC, uh, First Blood, The Guild. Um, I've also been ROC for almost a year. I think like ten months now. Ten months. But uh, um, yeah, great guild, great guild. Um, you should definitely check it out if you don't have a guild and if you're watching this. But anyways. What I'm here today is to show you how to get Spiral Spy into your Steam folder and get it working. This is for the Mac um, and if you have Steam. This would be great help for you hopefully. Um, and there are other tutorials out there but they kind of show the PC uh, version sort of. Um, Actually, if you can see here, this is Neg Negima Sonic EXE. He has done a Spiral Spy tutorial, sort of ish. But th this is just for installing, sort of. Um, just to show you for the Mac. Um, okay, so first, just type in Spiral Spy in Google. Uh, and then it's just the first one, just click on it. And then this is basically the creator of Spiral Spy. He just he quit SK a long time ago um, because of the most of the rage and hatred for Triple Rings that decided to not let um, Crimson Warhammer mission thing uh, be available for CE. So, which is basically all P2P, in other words, pay to, pay to play. Um, I'm a free to play, I uh, just want to put that out there, but I was able to get it via gift from Steam. Um, I just traded CE I got for um, the Crimson Hammer <sighs> that someone else bought. Um, so... Without further ado, I'm going to click here. As you can see, it says yes, you can still get Spiral Spy here, so just click it. Um, and download link right here. Then you should get the Java thing, Java file, jar file, whatever, here in the downloads section of your bar or whatever and just drag it out and just drop it in there so i'm gonna hide this oh hide this too um so you, this is your spiral spy now to install it for the mac what you would need to do is go to go at the top go to folder and then type in squiggly line uh, slash library. Remember that. Um, and then click go. And then go to application support. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Spiral nights. And this is the folder. Just drag it. Just drop it in like that. And you're done. Um, just to show you one more time. In case I've gone too fast. Okay, you're in library. And then go to application support. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Spiral nights. And there you are. So. What you what I do is I would I would create an alias, which is just a quicker access to the contents that I have to go through go and type in library again so just go to just right click that folder and find make alias and then just drag it like that simple as that and then close it and open it again and you're still there so just to make sure it's working just double click this oh okay do this. Open. Then. And it should be up and running. 
Boom. Okay. So, this is Spiral Knights. Um, yeah, that... Usually, it would, it would actually be all gray and... With grids and just a white, just blank character there. Um, but I was working on some Spiral Spy stuff for my video that was... Um, just for fun, you know, just just making scenes and doing stuff, um, but yeah, so I had, it, it saves the background that you initially make, um, but the characters itself, it doesn't save, so there's a special way to do that, um, I think they show you in the other videos about it, so keep searching for them, um, and that's it for me to tell you about how to install. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you later.